right now on Higher Journeys with Alexis Brooks. We're at the moment in a, um, a global shift as well of change. Anyone who's an empath, anyone who is sensitive will be picking up on that as well. And mm. there's a lot of really unhealthy energies out there at the moment. Absolutely. So, uh, well, well, this is what this is a convoluted maelstrom of a situation yeah. we're in because we're looking at something that, as we're talking on this show, has to do with a more metaphysical, esoteric, cosmological, uh, still rooted in science, however, uh, thing that's happening that's still hard for a lot of people, the best of us, to grasp. Uh, what is the best evidence? Mary, that you might be able to pull that says this is happening now. Is there any any sort of connect points that we can make? This is a little bit of my left brain talking here, but well, let's look at the numbers. You know, all I can say to people, I have never been um, busier than I am now, and why is that? Mm -hmm. Because with what's going on on the planet right now, certainly there's an activation here that's going on with I, I you know I'm getting a small portion of those that are shifting in awareness almost overnight um, and you, you know what uh, they will say that all sorts of awareness is coming to them they're seeing energy fields they're seeing orbs of light they're seeing spirits they're seeing beings they're seeing craft mm -hmm. um, they find themselves completely losing interest in materialistic values they the numbers thing is really, you know, the 11s, 11s and the 22, 20. Why do I keep noticing 11, 11? Or why do I keep noticing 22, 22 or 36? The number, the number thing is a part of this. It's, um, and I, I often wonder whether that's the program that we've come in with, that when we start recognizing all of this, that's the trigger to show us we're, we're part of the shift. So if somebody says to me, is something going on? Is there a shift in consciousness? All I can say is yes, because I'm seeing the evidence of it in every email that's coming through to me. Right. And, when people are telling me. and also because of the children, the children and what they're saying, all of that um, as in a, a total of, of information to me is the evidence that something major is going on right now with human consciousness and each one of us. The number pattern thing, I, I, I say it's way beyond 1111. It's every particular repeating numbers for me. It's been 55 for the last, I don't know, three, four months. In an, just an insane amount, uh, yeah. way beyond uh, coincidence. How would you correlate the, the number patterns with the frequency? I know that numbers are, are you know, very much a part of... Uh, the geometry and the you know the way the, the language of our own planet but yeah. how might you break that down for the lay person how are numbers why are synchronistic numbers connecting to physical symptoms well the way that i see it i mean i i notice myself that it's also a, a, an affirmation that you're on track because whenever i've been talking about certain things sometimes i'll look down at the clock and it's 11 11 and it's like yep yeah, that's accurate it's almost like it's a validation that I'm on track. But the numbers are a frequency. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, to give you an example, um, a young seven-year-old was explaining how he went to other planets. And I said, well, how do you do that? And he said, well, as long as I know their mathematical number, I can then go through a portal and, and, uh, and go to those particular planets. So again, it's a frequency. So what I believe this is, is these are the frequencies that are part of what we're connecting to um, in terms of that high consciousness. And for some, it will be particular numbers. Many, it's 1111. There's something about 1111 and that frequency. Mm -hmm. I, I would, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people have said, I keep seeing that number or I'm seeing this these, these series of numbers. And so for me, it's just another way of recognizing we're on some kind of frequency. You know, this is this is a frequency that people are reaching and going beyond right. as, as they are shifting. And that's why they keep seeing it. 
I have several friends who I love them dearly, but I would dare say they, they are probably the least spiritually inclined meaning following this sort of thing like we do. Yeah. We're also reporting these symptoms. How would we explain? And I, you know, I don't expect a, a you know uh, necessarily a clear answer because we don't really know what's going on. But they're yeah. having some of these same symptoms. They, I wouldn't consider them empathic. Does this have something to do with blood type, DNA structure? Not everyone's having these, and and some of the people that are don't fit into to this category that we're talking about. If you're enjoying this episode, along with all of the subjects that we cover here on Higher Journeys, then I invite you to join our members only community on Patreon, where we go even deeper into the conversations with the guests that you know and love. Not only does your membership ensure that we can keep this work going and growing, but you'll also get immediate access to our exclusive after shows. Get up close and personal with the guests of the show, along with many other member perks. So click on the link below to join now or visit higherjourneys.com where you'll find the Patreon link. We'll see you on the journey. Thanks. Well, that's a good question. Why is it affecting some rather than others? But it, it uh, a lot depends on where you're at as a particular soul frequency and where you're from. So if your soul has come from some other planetary system, another galaxy, another universe, another dimension, you're going to bring in a particular frequency that is, is, is going to, and how compatible is that to the resonance of the, the collective homo sapiens sapiens? So how, how much is it part of that and resonating with that? And, and what I think is, is going on is that they are helping to upgrade those um, individuals that are also ready to go to that other level. So it's bringing it's bringing us all up. You know, we talked about Homo Noeticus. Homo no, 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 Noeticus yeah. is bringing in the higher frequencies, so that those that are ready and um, are ready to make that transition are experiencing a lot of those sim uh, symptoms, if you like, for want of a better word. Um, but there'll be some of those that are not affected because they're already at that frequency. So it's, it's you know, I'll talk about the older models again. <laughs> That's going to be me, <laughs> for sure. Um, but, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll experience more um, because we aren't um, moving to that frequency as well. The whole body is shifting. The whole body is changing. Every tiny molecular aspect of our, our biological system is shifting. We are bound to experience. Of course. You know, shifts from that. So I need to bring this in and we're going to be very careful about how we phrase this, but let's just say the elephant in the room that everybody is living with these days all over the planet and all of its permutations is something that interestingly uh, can also affect the physical symptom, the physical system in many ways. You got that going on. It's very, it's being, it's being portrayed as a very 3D thing. Then you've got this going on, which we could argue is a 5D thing, or maybe we're moving into a higher dimensional frequency vis-a-vis -vis the, these symptoms. Could one be trying to usurp the other, if you know what I mean? <laughs> Some of the medical procedures going on on this um, planet at the moment, I have absolutely a, a real resonance to the, the feeling that this is to stop this process, if possible, to stop this um, whole activation and this whole consciousness shift. And the best way to do that is to lower the frequency. And you can, you can do that very well through illness. You can do it very well through certain medical protocols because all of that will, will, will stem that activation. So on a spiritual level, I would say there's no doubt in my mind that this has come in at this time to do exactly that, particularly as we now have these wonderful new generations of humans that are here to help us raise consciousness and become part of a new shift in uh, awakened humanity. Um, if you are someone who doesn't want that to occur, then what are you going to do? You're going to bring in some kind of protocol um, to stop that from happening. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to watch what's next, plus more to explore. And don't forget to subscribe to Higher Journeys.